Hey guys, New Age Soldier here. I want to tell you about the new piece of software I've developed called Steam Save Backup. It backups and restores to the Google Drive and uh, it can back up registries, files, directories, and requires no configuration. So let's check it out. Let's start up uh, Steam. We have our, our games here. As you can see, some uh, when they have the cloud icon here, and what I'm under is the uh, list view. So uh, this would be the normal view. Under list view, these are all the games I have installed. And as you can see, some of them do not have cloud saving. Like, these games do not have cl uh, cloud saving at all. So, uh, so if I were to uninstall these completely and reinstall them, I would lose my game save. Or if I were to get a different device or get a virus and reformat, I would lose those game saves forever. And as we all know, Grand Theft Auto 4 is not necessarily a short game. <laughs> this isn't a game that takes just an hour to beat or something. Uh, same with Armacrog. Uh, you know, I mean, these, these games are not short. Uh, they're, they're very uh, intensive. And personally, I would hate to lose my game saves. So we have our games installed. We're going to go ahead and launch the program Steam Save Backup. As soon as we open it up, um, immediately you'll be presented with the authenticate, open authentication here for Steam Save Backup below download. So uh, just go ahead and allow it. And here we receive our message, uh, receive verification code. Uh, you may now close this window. And if we go back uh, under our Google Drive, actually, and we go under the gear here for settings, settings, manage apps, very bottom, Steam Save Backup is now an app that has permission to use the Google Drive. Uh, we have some of the games here. Um, it does detect automatically. This is what I call the debug console. Um, as you can see, you know, welcome to the to um, Steam Save Backup uh, using Google Drive. Uh, if you do not see a game detected, it's because the XML data does not exist. And uh, so here's some of the games I do have installed under let's say Beechold 3. As you can see, these are all my backups that I currently have on Google Drive, these four. And just to confirm that, we can go over here under our... Uh, this is the architecture that it does create, by the way, when you do uh, first run this program, is Steam, save, uh, Steam Backup, and then all the games that are backed up on here. Um, this one I don't have currently installed. I don't have these currently installed, but the backups do exist on my Google Drive. And here is the three backups. There are zip files, as you can see here. They are by uh, date, time, and device that did the backup. Um, as you can see, some of them are different because this one's my, I believe actually this one's my desktop and the one that says desktop is actually my laptop. Uh, my laptop I never renamed from initially installing Windows 10 on it, so it's just called desktop. Uh, this does require Windows 7 and above. Uh, it might work for Vista, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Windows XP it definitely will not work because the save uh, architecture is not the same. Um, I would have to basically design it for Windows XP and below. Uh, and personally, I don't really see a reason to do that. I mean, everyone's on 7 at least, minimum. Let's see what's inside one of these um, zip files. As you can see, user profile. So wherever the user profile is on the device that you'll be restoring, as well as there is some registries that it will be restoring too, because we drilled three. Even though under the Wikipedia page says it just needs files, it actually needs files and a registration um, for the backup. I'm not sure why, but without it, it cannot restore save files. So under our user profile, whatever it's going to be when it restores, app data, which is a hidden folder um, on devices. So you will, um, you know, so once again, it would be difficult to back this game up manually unless you knew how to unhide uh, folders, etc. Local data, Steam, Bejeweled 3 users. And then here's the uh, user with my high scores and data and stuff like that, as well as a registration file. Now, let's say you were going to download the zip file and restore it yourself. You can just double click on that registration file and it will Windows will pop up and say, do you want to restore the registrations that are within here? So you could do that. You could still restore the zip file backup uh, manually without the help of Steam Save. But let's say we have our program launched and we want to restore from the newest. Well, we can click on it and we can actually um, press this button right here, which says download slash restore. Okay, and then we see down here below the output, um, which restored to users, Jake, app data, local, Steam, Bejewel3, users, and then the files and folders, as well as it restores the registration keys. And once it's complete, it's it's all done. <laughs> so we have our game restored from save. Now, 
you're probably not going to want to do that every time. Let's say you have two different devices. I have a computer and a laptop. Uh, sometimes I want to play games uh, Bejeweled 3 on my on my laptop or something like that. You know, I want to play it on my desktop and then I want to play it over on my laptop. So I'd rather restore it automatically. When you do initially run this program, the settings will be open automatically. It will show you the Steam content libraries, the auto backup game save after close, after you close the game. Okay, uh, auto download and restore on game start. Uh, you can minimize the system tray on startup, um, and you can start up the program when Windows starts. You can also export the debug console to a data file. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's just going to fill up really fast, uh, as well as the language. I only have English right now, and you can also choose to do a max backup. So let's say, I mean, you could even set it to one if you just want one backup, like you trust it that much. Um, zero is infinite, um, and... The only reason why I do that is because let's say you're using the free Google Drive. Eventually that will fill up. That 20 gigs will eventually fill up, okay? That's if you if you never do. Uh if you just continuously back up and never stop it. Uh so you're going to want to set a maximum, I would say maybe 10. 10 I think is a pretty safe number. Uh in here there is no save. Uh you're just going to have to close it. If you do if you do change any of the options, you will have to restart the program because the program loads these on startup. Uh, so we'll just close it, um, and that will automatically save the settings for us. So Bejeweled 3, so let's minimize that to here. Now, if I start up the game Bejeweled 3, it says it suspends the game, and it really does. It suspends the process, restores the files, and then unsuspends the, the process, the game, basically. Um, so now we have our save game restored, as well as the registries and everything like that which we can also check the Steam Save Backup here, and we can see the whole thing. As you can see, uh, Game Save Restored from Google Drive and resuming the game. Welcome back. And here's our user that it restored. And so now I have my unlocked games, and <laughs> my ones are still locked here. Now if I quit out of this game, We will see in just a moment that the program will automatically uh, do a zip and upload to Google Drive. There we see our auto uploading Visual 3 game save. And it should already be complete. It's very, very fast, um, as you can see here. Located uh, the game directory on Google Drive, which this is the folder, uh, the Google Drive folder ID number. Uh, creating the zip backup. So here's our new zip backup. And it's backing up this directory with the, and all the files in it as well. And uh, so it created the zip. It's just kind of saying where the zip is located currently, temporarily. Uh, and then once again, it's getting that ID number. The new file ID number, etc. Other stuff like that. And then it refreshed our Bejeweled 3 backups. And so we can see our brand new backup is right here, 12, 21, here it is, 919. So this one right here, 919, uh, in 41 seconds. So it does hours, minutes, seconds, and it's military time. So there are our backups, and it automatically backs it up for us, and we can download and restore if we choose to, or when we start it up, Beedrill 3 the next time, it will automatically do the download and restoration process for us. So, I mean, that's really that's really about all this uh, program has to offer, but it does so much. And, um, you know, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Uh, if you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also check out NewAgeSoldier.com for other software that I develop. Thanks for watching.